What's up marker heads? It's Karen and it's time for another sketchbook video. This one I kind of started around the time that I finished the last one I did a flip through of, but I have added to this as recently as uh, a year or two ago. So this is a really out of order sketchbook. There's a lot of different things in here. Um, right off the bat we've got some Pokemon and uh, this is my friend's character, Adendi. I kind of went for a little bit of an Adventure Time style with this picture. Um, but this is my friend Aaron's character. Uh, yeah. And I was kind of working on a, um, Pokemon on Fire type of tutorial video, so that's what this is, is a couple of different versions of that. And I actually have tutorials covering both types of flames now, so if you wanted to find those, I'll leave links to those in the description. Um, there's a lot of marker chart, like what colors I want and things like that. I actually have a lot of those now. Uh, I really like this little sketch of Evie trying to catch a berry, or jump for a berry. And I was really um, doing a lot of ballpoint pen in this sketchbook. Uh, there's some sketches of people with the proportion thing. If you look in a lot of how to draw people art books, they will tell you to measure them based on how many heads tall they are. <laughs> um, up here I was listening to an art video and so I wrote down some people and uh, IPs and different things that inspire me. So. Um, yeah, so these are some of the artists that I liked to follow a lot. I wrote down Kagamaru twice, apparently. That's kind of funny. They were a YouTuber. I don't even know if they do art videos anymore, and if they do, they might use a different handle, but I used to really like their videos, and I can't even find them on YouTube anymore. Um, I really like this. This was done with a, a couple of Zig Multiliners is my favorite type of pen because they're a little on the cheaper side and they have this nice texture. Uh, I also really like the Copic Multiliners and the um, Microns. I have tried all of those but I think Zigs are one of my favorite just because they have a little bit of texture. Now this is uh, when I was sketching ideas for Arcanine, an Arcanine drawing that I did with um, uh, my friend and her Arcanine. That's a video that I uploaded quite a while quite a while ago, so that would put that right about, I guess, 2012. Uh, <laughs> those eyes. Quite uh, sparkly. I really like this face and this face style. I think I've pointed that out before, and I'm just really nervous to put it in videos, so I need to get over that. Here's where I was putting together a tutorial on how to draw people, and I realized I was really not the person to go to for people tutorials because I rarely draw humans. <laughs> um, so this was like step one, um, step two, and step three, and I got a few steps and then I was like, okay, I'm done with this because I'm not really good at this. Um, so here's some different people sketches. This is Blake. You've seen him in a previous sketch, and this is Takina. She's having a little draft stuffy, and she looks sad or scared. It's a little bit off <laughs> in proportion. Uh, so this was me trying to draw something with my non-dominant hand. I am left-handed, so my right hand is not, <laughs> not the best. <laughs> um... This is Akalaka's sister, Akila, and if you've seen previous sketchbooks, you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, these are some original characters and like real people that I know. Oops. I put all of their names in a little box and drew them together so it says like who they are and uh, I just kind of had to figure out how their personalities would work together. Um, this is a really fun exercise. When I don't know what I'm doing or what I want to do, that's kind of what I do. So this is like my sister fighting one of my characters. Um, and <laughs> this super serious character with a really playful, goofy little kid character. So that I like that one. It's kind of funny. Uh, 
Um, these were sketches I did of an illustration I was making for my uncle. He really likes Pokemon and uh, Charizard and Pikachu are his favorites, so the illustration is of um, the finished one was of Charizard and Pikachu in an ice cave, so Charizard's kind of trying to keep his tail away from the ice because he doesn't want it to melt. Um, so there were different versions. One is Pikachu making Charizard do push-ups, which I couldn't really figure out how to do an illustration of that without making a comic. Uh, and then this one was going to be Pikachu riding on Charizard's back, but I decided I really liked the one of Charizard in the ice cave. It's like an alien cat with two tails. Um, see, here's a, another sketch of it. This one, Pikachu's on Charizard's head. In the final version, Pikachu is standing over here and like facing Charizard and waving at him to come over. Um, if you want to see the final version of that, I believe it's on my DeviantArt page, which I guess I'll link a finished version of that on down in the description so you can go see it. I do not own that final version of it anymore because I did give it to my uncle for his birthday, so. <laughs> um, here's some more situation sketches where I pulled two characters' names. So this is the princess of my uh, imaginary world, and she's like, ah! This is one of the monsters that live in the world. So I like this sketch a lot. <laughs> and then these are some versions some sketches of some of my characters. I really like that version of her. She's really nice looking in that one. I got rid of- she used to have two ponytails and I wanted her to look older, so I got rid of those and made her little hair long things <laughs> longer. And yeah, these are all characters from the same universe. Um, oh, I was doing like a little Gijin cuz and I named that ponytail Blaine. That's funny. Um, little paw study, things like that. Some of my Pokemons. Celebi. There was a drawing. I, I was pregnant at this time, so I did a sketch of myself. Um, I like this one. There's a dog. A couple of dog sketches. Let's see. Oh, these were uh, little color swatches. I don't really know what's going on here. I think he's supposed to be holding a sword. Her head's too big. <laughs> Let's see. I was gonna draw Firo. There's some Pikachus. Uh, there is some. I really like this drawing of Blaziken. He's really cute. I have a lot of Pokemon sketches. There's a rabbit. I like to draw rabbits. This is my cat, and what she would look like is a person, she's kind of curvier. She's looking at a Pikmin. <laughs> uh, here's a little sketch of an illustration I wanted to make. These, This is a the prince that lives in my imaginary world, or whatever, and then his, his mount uh, is this big bird, and so this is Karee and she's a subject in the world, so she's bowing to him. He's saluting her. Not sure why. Maybe she's a member of the uh, their royal guard or something. I don't know. Uh, this is me finally nailing down how I liked Kateo's face to look. I gave him darker hair. Um, yeah, I just kind of wrote notes, wrote notes down. Sorry if you can hear my son talking. He's he's like right outside my door. <laughs> it's a little on the noisy side. Uh, here was some sort of crest that I was making. Oh, these dogs. I really like dogs and do like to draw them a lot. Um, so these are kind of like dogs I would like to have. So it's a card cardigan Welsh Corgi, cross of the Sheltie, that was kind of that one. This, I did do a drawing of this that I believe I made a video of. Um, it was another commission that I did that had way too many characters um, from my personal preference. I'm not much into drawing a lot of characters in one image. And uh, so the ones where there's a lot of characters, 
They take me a long time to do and they're kind of difficult. <laughs> but um, I made them for someone that I really liked working with. So I kind of made an exception and I'm not going to be doing character illustrations like that anymore with that many characters. It's just, I really don't enjoy it. It's hard for me to stay focused. It's my friend's character again. <laughs> um, oh, look at this character. She's got like animal skins. She's a cat. That's a great picture. Alright. Some Adventure Time y style. There's Ilya. <laughs> she's she's got amnesia, so she's got little question marks on her head. She's from Twilight Princess. Uh, Rain of Corn, I guess. Um, yeah. uh, I think this is supposed to be Rapunzel. <laughs> Let's see, some hand sketches. I do apologize if I'm out of frame. There's a Dendi again. I really liked drawing her. Uh, and then this is another sketch of my Arcanine video. Um, I really wanted to do an illustration of Wolf Link and Midna. I'm not sure who these characters are. This is a cat that I had at the time. I think that's supposed to be Harry Potter. <laughs> Eye studies. These were characters that I only spent 20 minutes on. Sketch that I only spent 20 minutes on. This guy looks like Shaggy from Scooby Doo wearing like a medieval outfit. Playing around with style. I didn't really like that drawing. These were sketches for a storybook I was working on, and I decided not to go through with the storybook. I may return to it. I just. Um, I feel like the story isn't really nailed down. Uh, I'm not sure what the motive is of this character and why he's trying to make friends with these other ones. Uh, so it's, it's work in progress. I really like it. I like the style I was working in, but I just really didn't know. I have a really hard time with storyline. This is a otter owl creature that I draw quite a lot. There's some little sketches of it in here somewhere, but I'm I'm not sure if I can just flip straight to it or not. Somewhere in here. This is one I'll show you later on, but yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to show you that in another time. But, yeah. There he is again. His name's Kiwi. He's cute. There's more sketches of him. And then more, more ivy sores. You know me with the ivy sores. I love them. This is something I did on live stream, and <laughs> so I just let people give me a suggestion on a feature for this creature, and I would just add to it. So it's got like cow legs, but it has scales, and it has a poodle head, and a regular dog head, and yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, here's a toothless sketch, and I really like it. It's got a fishy. Might do a video of that. I like to draw toothless. Someone just went outside. Sorry about all the noise! <laughs> uh, there's Fluffy. It's one of my Pokemon. This is my strongest Pokemon that I ever had as a uh, Persian because I would just spam Payday on all of my all of the Pokemon battles that I did. I would just like hoard money. <laughs> um, these are some Griffins that I did because I wanted to do some art dolls. If you don't know what an art doll is, it's basically like a really highly detailed stuffed animal that you can pose and I really like griffins so I was designing some and this is the one that I wanted to make she's kind of smaller she's really cute um, here's another version of her Let's see some like stuffed animal ideas this is a sketch of a sculpture that I did uh, and these are just some quick little pen sketches. I really like the way these look. These are some uh, Leafeon. Yeah, Leafeon sketches. And then there's my little griffin again, and then a fawn <laughs> character. It's cute. Rattata. Rattata. However you say it. I say Rattata. You say Rattata. Rattata. Whatever. Uh, this is kind of inspired by the Skyrim characters. The Khajiit. 
Yes, Ronnie? Not yet, I'm not done. I'm almost done though. And that's about it. That's pretty much the whole sketchbook. Um, this is the only thing in the back of this. It's a pen, a ballpoint pen sketch. I really like it. I really love to work with ballpoint pens. So let me give you some close-ups here. Um, it's one of my favorite mediums that I used to use a lot, but I don't anymore. Um, it's just a lot of ballpoint pens deteriorate over time and then the quality of the image kind of doesn't look as nice as it once did. Uh, so I need to get some better quality ballpoint pens, I think. But this is actually the last thing in here. It's a bumble kit, which is a cat and a bumblebee, and I love him. He's so cute and fluffy. And that's it. That's the end of this sketchbook. Um, I used to get really confused with this, so I wrote back on the back of this because that way I could figure out which side I had. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this sketchbook, like I said, uh, even as recent as a year and a half ago I was adding to this. It's not totally packed in or anything like that, but it was from, I guess, 2012 to 2014. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like to do sketchbook flip-throughs, and they are a lot of fun to look back on my old sketches. Uh, it makes me feel uh, inspired to go back and do some of the pictures that I was working on um, and flesh them out a little more. So. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you would like to see more sketchbooks, let me know. I have, I think, four or five of them left, and then I'll be <laughs> current. So um, I'm looking forward to moving on to a different series. I've been working on something different, and uh, it would be good to start a new series, but I do have some sketchbooks left. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe so you can get more, and make sure to check the notification bell so that you get notified for more videos. I really appreciate all of you guys watching and commenting. Comments make me so happy. And uh, I am not done yet, honey. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm gonna go play with my son now. See you later.